breaking news. Right now at 4.30, we continue to follow the latest developments from East Hampton. That's where a call came in about an active shooter at the middle school, resulting in officers from many nearby towns rushing to that scene. Channel 3's Aya Galal is now live with an update from police. Aya. Hi, Kara. Well, ultimately, police were able to determine the threat was not credible. But as you can imagine, this caused a lot of concern for students inside of the school and parents as well. Parents came rushing to the school, but ultimately the lockdown was lifted and parents were able to pick up their kids just a short time ago. Let's show you some video of what the scene looked like when we first arrived here uh, at the middle school. Just a few hours ago, police had received a call from someone about an active shooter at the middle school. Officers rushed to the school. The middle school went into a code red lockdown as well as the high school. State police were out here, U.S. Marshals, several local agencies as well, working to do a sweep of the building and see if there was, in fact, an active shooter. There was not. Ultimately, the school was cleared and it was determined that the threat was not credible. We heard from the superintendent a short time ago. Any of these uh, are um, significant matters or incidents that we have to address uh, through protocols within the district. Uh, we have uh, different levels of protocol depending on the circumstance and in this particular case where the immediate threat uh, was for the middle school, uh, we use what's called the code red. The code red is our highest level of concern, which uh, without getting into too much detail about our security procedures within the schools, uh, it is something that we do uh, when we have a significant concern. Nobody was injured and parents were ultimately able to pick up their kids from the school. Buses left just a short time ago. Now, as for the caller, police are working to get the caller into custody. We also learned that individual may have mental health issues. We're going to have much more on this story coming up on Eyewitness News at 5 p.m. For now, we're putting live in East Hampton, Aguilar, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.